Hello, thank you for joining me today for Give Him 15. The title of today's post is The Star-Spangled Banner Dream. Our friend Gina Golston was given the following dream on March 16th, 2024. In the dream, she says, I saw Dutch sheets on the steps that lead up to the United States Capitol building. I knew he had been in very intense intercession for the nation. He was weeping, overcome with deep travail. He had an electric guitar ready to play, though there was no amplifier. Standing beside him was a man with a silver trumpet positioned to his lips. I felt that this man, she says, was an angel. Then it was as if Dutch was overcome with a wave of revelation. He knew that until the eyes of the American people were opened to see, she emphasizes the word see, truth, change could not come to the nation. At that moment, the anointing of Holy Spirit overtook him and he began to shout loudly with incredible passion and authority. I declare that a seeing anointing goes out over this land to break the spell of delusion. The Lord is opening the eyes of the people so that they will see. As the last word left his mouth, he strummed the guitar and the angel beside him blew a long, continuous blast on the silver trumpet they did so in the key of C. It's a play on words. The two instruments combined into one sound, though there was no amplifier. The sound was louder than if the instruments had been connected to an amplifier. It was supernatural. Then Dutch repeatedly sang one line from the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say, can you See, when he sang the word see, it began to echo. Oh, say, can you see? See, see, see. Over and over, he sang that one phrase. It became more than a question. The echoing word became a command sent out over the nation. Each time he sang the phrase and the word C echoed, it would catch up with the echo from the previous release, becoming a never-ending echo of this powerful command throughout the nation. C, C, C. Then the note of C being strummed on the guitar and blown from the trumpet combined to create a visible movement like ripples fanning out. The ripples look somewhat like an old handheld fan that could be opened up to make a 360 degree circular fan. They merged with and carried the echoes of the command C and wrapped around the Capitol building. I don't know how to adequately articulate this, she says, but it was as if the music and the echoing word C combined to become a visible, swirling wind of sound. Dreams are so fascinating. Then she says, a massive choir, which I believe was comprised of angels, suddenly formed completely around the Capitol. This choir began to loudly sing the chorus of the song, Shout to the Lord. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. There was something important and powerful, she says, about the last line of this song. Nothing compares to the promise. I have in you. It felt as though the promise had something to do with the covenantal promises God has made concerning America. When the choir finished 
the chorus, Dutch, still in the deep throes of travail, said again, I declare that a seeing anointing is going out, goes out over this land to break the spell of delusion. The Lord is opening the eyes of the people so that they will see. Then this was all repeated. He strummed the guitar. The angel blew the trumpet. Dutch sang the phrase, Oh, say, can you see? The echoes continued and the choir sang. Their words continued to act as whirlwinds, pushing the sound waves of the C chord and the command C in every direction reverberating across the nation. And this was all repeated over and over in the dream. My thoughts. This dream was received by Gina and sent to me a week before the Francis Scott Key Bridge was struck and destroyed. Key, as most everyone now knows, penned the words of our national anthem, Francis Scott Key, the Star Spangled Banner. It seems very unlikely that the dream, the song, the message, it was used to communicate and the destruction of the bridge bearing the author's name are not connected or related. Very hard to believe they're not. The uses of silver trumpets, not the shofar, but silver trumpets in scripture are given in Numbers 10, one to 10. In summary, since they didn't have modern technology, the silver trumpets were used to coordinate the movements of the large encampment of Israelites. The movement could be to assemble or to travel, and they were used for sounding an alarm for battle. Verse nine, when you go to war in your land against the adversary who attacks you, you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets that you may be remembered before the Lord your God and be saved from your enemies. This, that, verse 9, is what I feel is the purpose of the silver trumpet in the dream. If America is to remain the land of the free, as our anthem states, its citizens must have the delusion broken over them. This delusion was caused by a spell, obviously referring to its demonic roots. This deception could apply to several areas, morality, justice, government. A declaration was made at the Capitol and the sound first encircled it. Marriage, education, media, and more. Most definitely, it refers, the deception refers to America's need for and relationship with God, including our founding and destiny, that part of our relationship, which he oversaw. This delusion must be broken off of our nation, enabling us to see clearly once again. The dream clearly states that God is he is breaking this delusion off of America and using the church, the ecclesia, to do so. God said, the declaration said he's doing it, but we had to decree it. We had to declare the sound. We must continue to pray and decree the promises, the song. Nothing compares to the promise so we must continue to pray and decree the promises of God's word along with Holy Spirit's prophetic words over our nation. As we do so, the scriptures and the dream assure us that angels will aid us, carrying the power of our prayers and decrees across our nation. The wind or breath of God will also carry and empower these prayers both happened in the dream. It is necessary 
and important to point out that we were warned to pray against attacks against our water-related structures and ports in a previous dream, previous dream given to Gina. And you can find that using the link we provided. Believable reports are circulating that the destruction of this bridge could have been accomplished through a cyber attack being used to control the barge. The purpose of such an attack is obvious. The effects of this bridge collapse will cost Americans billions of dollars. The barge was loaded with hazardous materials, which will create many problems, and the cleanup and repair will take years, not months. This is very very serious. We may never know if it actually was an attack. I question whether or not our go current government would admit this. However, whether it was an attack or an accident, prayer can protect from both. We must take the warning we received more seriously and pray diligently over our water supply waterways, bridges, dams, and ports. Destruction of these supplies and structures could literally cripple our nation. And we know that Biden's policies have allowed more than a million unknowns, illegal aliens that came into our nation as gotaways. No one knows who they are, where they are, who came in. Over a million, closer to two million, we have been warned that there are likely thousands of terrorists and or spies currently in our nation. We must continue to repent for America's sins, rejection of the Lord, pray diligently for restoration, and declare the promises of God over our nation. The shaking has begun and will continue, but we have been told it is redemptive. It will tear down evil structures and awaken Americans to our need for God. And we must ask for the wind of Holy Spirit to blow, bringing a true and sweeping revival. This will remove deception and restore God's protection. The Lord says that America will see and shall be saved. Believe it and declare it. Let's pray. Father, evil forces are at work to destroy America. As the great hymn, Mighty Fortress says, Still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great and armed with cruel hate. But the hymn also reminds us that the right man, Jesus, will give us victory. We know he has conquered the authority of hell and is king over all the earth. We will continue to war from this place of victory and authority and with the help and leadership of Holy Spirit. We stand in Yeshua's authority and declare over America, as we did in the dream, a seeing anointing now goes out over this land to break the spell of delusion. The Lord is opening the eyes of the people so that they will see. We declare your stated purpose that the gospel will go forth from these shores, not only to this land, but to all the nations of the earth will 
be accomplished. And we declare that America is being cleansed of her sin, rejection of God, and strongholds of darkness. America shall be saved, is being and shall be. Our decree, one more time, we decree that a seeing anointing goes out over this land to break the spell of delusion. The Lord is opening the eyes of people so they will see. Amen. Amen. This one is worth reading or listening to again. Get it deep in your heart, spirit. Make this decree often. We will do it again. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.